Hi, I'm Xander. And I'm Jeff. And this is our final project. It's basically a text-based uh, adventure game where you enter um, letter inputs, which stand for uh, commands. So, for example, in this room, we just defeated a green slime and earned, earned 80 points. So, uh, and it looks like this room is searchable and we can potentially find a secret. So if we enter L for look, uh, we can see if we found a secret and it looks like we didn't. So let's try going to the next room by typing P for progress. Um, and there's an enemy in this room. Uh, it's a giant isopod. So we start by typing A for attack. Uh, and normally what would happen is now a shake listener would uh, read if you have shaken the phone. Um, but unfortunately we couldn't get that to work at the moment, so we're using AB to bypass that. Um, and so um, using that the actual combat goes through and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the general things that happen. Other things you're able to do is heal with H, or if you feel like you really don't want to be messing with this thing, you can do R to just completely run from the battle, and that's pretty much what the gameplay goes down to. Yeah. So t looking at the code, um, we have the, char the character class, which is, which a player and enemy are extensions of, and this pretty much dictates what stats and um, other important things that the player character and uh, different enemies uh, are going to need. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the shake class, that's basically where we've implemented all the methods uh, necessary to use a sensor listener to. <coughs> Um, track whether the force on the phone, uh, the Y component of the force on the phone, uh, is greater than just that of gravity, which is a really interesting way that the phone tracks uh, how it's being moved. Uh, but the most important class by far is the gameplay class. And most of these are just, uh, they store relatively minor amounts of information, or they just contain buttons such as how to play which uh, takes you to uh, the how to play to uh, UI. Alright, so within gameplay a lot of different things end up being stored such yeah. as the different strings that you'll that you'd see if you played through the game um, different booleans and and that store that store um, like different stats you'd have and then getting down to the meat yeah of everything that, we, we see that really meaty on create method which has oh, like yeah. a whole page um, which dictates what happens as soon as you get to this activity um, it basically initializes your character at this point, so it can start using that for your attack power and things like that. <coughs> um, so for every time you click the enter button on the gameplay screen, uh, the change output method runs, uh, which calls my <coughs> battle status and enemy battle status if you are in a battle, which is that is battling boolean. Um, and if you aren't battling, it will call a method which will uh, handle progress and look inputs. Or er, progress, uh, progress and look inputs. Um, and then every time you, that method runs, it also resets the text for um, the window you see on the screen and it resets your input text line to the empty string. So yeah, that's basically our project. Yep. Any final words, Jeff? Uh, none that I can think of.
If you want, if you want to play something like this, go and play it. Don't go and play Fallout. Yeah. Play this. For sure. All right. We're very tired. Goodbye.